Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Vue 3 Composition API series. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the basics of using the Vue 3's Composition API. Throughout this video, we'll be building a simple component that displays emojis based on the number of times a button is clicked. To build this component, we'll be taking a look at five of the new functions added to the API. These functions are Setup, OnMounted, Ref, Watch, and Computed. These are the most essential functions to getting started with the new API. If you have not watched the introduction video where I talk about the different component structures and advantages to the new API, I recommend you go ahead and do so. Now let's get started building this component. We first must define the setup function. This is the place where we actually call the new composition functions. You can think of it as the entry point into your component. This function is called before the component is created and after the properties that are passed in have been resolved. This setup function will contain the JavaScript logic of your component. Taking a look at the function, we can see it accepts two properties. The first is props, which contains the values of data passed in that are defined in the props section above. As you would expect, these values are reactive and will update when the properties change. We'll take a deeper look into reactivity later in this video. But first, we must take a look at context, which is the second parameter passed in. In the context, you're able to grab the component's attributes, slots, and emits. Since these are not reactive, they can be used with object deconstruction. But in this example, we actually don't need context at all, so I'm just going to be removing it. In later videos, we'll dive deeper into context and how it may be useful. The last note about the setup function is everything returned from it will be accessible in the template of the component. Once we have created our first reactive reference, this will become more clear on how it works. Now that we know what the setup function does, Let's register a lifecycle hook inside of it. This is possible through the use of several functions that are exported from Vue. The Composition API uses the same names as the Option API for hooks. You can simply prefix on in front of the event in order to hook into it. Each of the on events accept a callback, which will be executed when the hook is called by the component. In our simple example, although it's not necessary, we'll be using an on mounted hook that just simply prints out to consoles saying that the component has been mounted. You can take a look in the docs to see all of the available hooks that you can use. Let's move on to creating our first reactive variable. This variable will be incremented each time the user clicks the button. We will then use this variables to trigger other actions to render the correct number of emojis. In Vue 3, we can make variables reactive anywhere, even outside of the function. We can do this by calling the ref function, which takes a value as input and wraps it into an object with a dot value property. By wrapping it in an object, Vue is able to maintain its reactivity across primitive types that are passed by value. Now we can create our add function, which will simply add one to our counter. We will return this value from our function and call it from our button. So each time the button is clicked, it will increment the counter. Cool, now we have our first reactive variable that is updated when we click a button. Now let's create a simple watch that will log a message to console when the user has clicked five times. This can simply be done by using the watch function, which accepts two parameters, the reactive reference, in our case, counter, and a function that will be called each time our reference changes. This function that is called will also accept two parameters, the first being the current value and the second being the previous value. In our function, once the current value equals five, we will simply print a message to console. Finally, we want to create an array that contains the same number of elements as the counter, and each element should be the emoji that has been passed in. We can do this using computed properties. Similar to refs and watch, we can create computed properties that will compute some value whenever a reactive variable changes. It will return a read-only reactive reference that can be accessed using the dot value just like refs. In our case, the reactive variable is counter, and the array will contain all the emojis that we need. This can be simply done by using the new array function and then mapping each element in the array to the emoji passed in. As you can see, this computed function gets updated each time the counter value changes. And we are done. We have successfully created a custom emoji counter. This video covered a high overview of what the composition API can do. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into reactivity and looked at more advanced topics.